Welcome back to Sword Box. We started talking this week about waiting on the Lord. Today I want to talk about waiting on the Lord for a mate. Uh, our verse for today is from Isaiah 40, 31, and it says, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. You know, not waiting on the right person to marry or even to date is probably one of the most common mistakes we in our culture make. Even as Christians, for some reason, we tend to want to leave God out of the selection process, and that's just not smart. For Christians, we have a definite guideline for marriage, and it's found in 2 Corinthians 6.14, and it says, Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. So there's a very large group of people we as Christians simply cannot date. Certainly it's difficult enough finding the right person within the house of God. However, even among Christians, we need to be very picky, so picky that we wait on lean on and trust in God for these decisions. God knows who he wants us to be with. We need to be following him. Now if we are consumed with finding a mate, meeting our soulmate, in order to be complete and to be happy, beware. Number one, we were not created for marriage. We were created for God. Marriage was created for us. Number two, another person other than Jesus Christ will not complete you. We are complete in Christ Jesus. We can complement and help another person. If we are waiting for God to bring the right person with our 200 page list of everything this person must be and do for us in order for us to be happy and content, then we are waiting for the wrong thing and we are waiting in the wrong way. We are coming into relationships out of a need and out of our own desires and wants instead of out of a position of strength and giving and love. You know, second, in Philippians 4, sorry, verses 11 through 12, the Apostle Paul said, I have learned how to be content in all circumstances. That means being content in singlehood. If we can't learn to trust God and be content where he wants us for now, chances are we're not going to be content wherever we're going. The Bible says, godliness with contentment is great gain. Do not seek a wife. Seek the Lord. God knows where your mate is. God knows who he wants you to be with. We need to be seeking him and following him. And God is more than capable of bringing the right people in our paths that he wants us to be with. God bless you. I hope that helps you when talking about dating and finding a mate. Uh, it's not always easy to wait on the Lord, but if you will, I guarantee you, you won't be sorry. God bless you. We'll see you back here tomorrow.